really, Scotty? Hi. Hi. <laughs> you just gotta be so adorable. Monday. I know I haven't vlogged anything. I mean, this is the first bit that we're vlogging of this week. But that's kind of because I kind of got sick yesterday. Um, wasn't feeling good. Wasn't feeling good today, so I called out. Thankfully, I am over the um, worst of it, I think. Mainly, I'm, right now, I'm just feeling not 100% like myself. But, um, we got some really cute action with the ferrets going. So cute. So, they have found my bag that my latest Plexus Slim order came in. And they are just having a grand old time. I'm right here with this is because wow I have big hands um, I am trying to figure something out so I can start posting videos on my beauty channel again and <sighs> the lighting sucks the background sucks just everything about this sucks because there's really not a good configuration to our apartment <laughs> And so part of me is wondering, do I actually want to do this again? I know I do. But now, it just, it doesn't seem to be really working with this configuration. Of course, there's also the glasses. It causes the glare because, well, this angle gives me shadows. Yes, I have bags under my eyes, but normally they're not, they don't look that bad because, you know, the lights generally aren't casting shadow there so I don't know what we're gonna do because we also want to you know make better videos of the new content of the stuff that we're gonna be doing which is obviously more than vlogging um, we want to get a ring light but ring lights are notoriously expensive I just heard a noise over there yeah, ring lights are very expensive. And so I'm not sure when we're going to be able to get one, if ever. I mean, the best ring lights, well, they range. I mean, there is a price range, but generally the price range is in the hundreds up to thousands of dollars. So, yeah. Gotta figure something out. But for now, we just deal with what we got. And what we have is a very, very plain, boring background to shoot videos on. At least Jake's side of the new channel. 
I would love to be able to use our bookcase here as a backdrop, but I cannot figure out how to get it good. Like, there's no good lighting in this corner. I mean, here, yeah, it probably looks fine. But when you actually go to try and record something, you got the light coming in from this side. And then you've got the light there. And the lights, I mean, that light there is a warm light. And this is natural cool light from outside. But this corner gets the warm light. So, yeah. Oh, you guys. Hi, guys. It is, what's today? Friday. Right? Today was PD. And I look like this because I just finished filming um, a video for my beauty channel. Yes, I'm finally taking up that mantle again. Um, oh, I gotta talk about the woes here. The woes. I gotta show you, like, what's going on here. So, I'm just gonna, oh, that was not a good idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide the one out of this contraption and show you this is what I'm using to re this is what I'm using to record videos now. <sighs> and yes, I've got some stuff here. This actually I thought of this while I was at work and I thought there's there is a, another girl on YouTube uh, that I watch and she basically she, I think I'm pretty sure the way her setup is she's actually sitting in her living room in front of her couch or behind her couch. Anyway, it looks like she's sitting on the floor and doing her, her thing. So I thought if that's good enough for her, and she's been doing, she's been on YouTube for a couple years and it's working, still working for her. I thought if it's good enough for her, good enough for me. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. But look at my feet situation here. I don't have room. There's not room here. He doesn't want to record. Um, so yeah, I am like so cramped here. My legs were falling asleep while I was recording that video. Of course, you know, with the way I talk, with the way I do things, it takes for freaking ever for me to make a video. Oh, do you like my um, hair accessory? It was one of the things that I got for my birthday from Torrid. Um, and I also want to just take a mention, take a moment here to, to, to address that. Cause I know it's now three weeks ago, but, um, yeah, Jake and I are not in the best financial situation right now. We are still getting some help from our parents and there has been comments to, made to us about our spending habits and how we're still, um, needing help from our, our parents and I just want to take a minute to address something here. I have not purchased anything on my credit card in almost two, two or three months. Jake has not purchased anything on his credit card. The money that we are spending, we actually legit have. Okay. And for my birthday for Torrid, that was a credit, I have a credit card with them that I had been paying down since my last, um, Torrid haul video that I made last year in the spring of 2017. That was the last time I purchased anything from Torrid. And so from, from then to when I've actually started to lose weight and needed to get new clothes, um, I went to Torrid and bought, I think it was like a few items on my card because I've been paying it down so that uh, to the point where I could afford to get a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. Not to mention, they always have sales. Like I, like for my, okay, for example, I'm just going to say this. I'm not going to mince it. The total order the total amount for 
what I bought in store, I think was supposed to, what, uh, without taking off any of the discounts, any of the sales, it was going to be around 350 maybe, I think even close to 400 Uh All said and done, I only paid 250 for everything that was in store. And I got a lot. And I didn't, I have not talked about, I've not shown what I've got, I have not talked about it because that is actually a video I'm going to make for my beauty channel. I really want to make my channel grow and I, to the point where I can actually start making some money from it. Uh, and so to make that happen, and this is something that Jake has said too, to make money, you got to spend money. And while it's not ideal, it works. And so with us doing with, with the, with stuff actually moving forward with our book, we are actually uh, reaching out to an artist to make the uh, cover art for the book um, that we have been working on and we are not telling the name of yet. Um, so that is another step that's happening that's super exciting that means that that'll be hopefully more money because that book, if nothing happens with that book, I am going to be so upset. I will pro I will probably legit cry because Jake and I put so much heart and work into that story that if not if it if it flops, I am just I'll probably say just mm, this is a family friendly show. I cannot I cannot say what I'm really thinking. But what I'm thinking is if it doesn't work out, I probably would say I'm never going to write again because I would, I would feel that way. But anyway, I've got stuff to do and I've got to, I've got to get up from here because I'm pretty bad.